Systems Ooh. should allow you to rest easy, and with CPI security, you can. He said that uh, he's revealing to me that the purpose of their unity is for uh, basically equipping them. And I heard just now in my spirit, just as I did you, uh, to train you up to know the disguise. But a lot of them are in his presence and don't even realize it. And uh, when I was sitting there, getting ready to go get me a snack, uh, God revealed to me, he said, remember I told you, you heard them say, I'm going to get me a job. Uh, that The evil side and the good side. And their spirits is calling for the spirits of deception. And so the spirits of deception is having them, basically, uh, they have set up some plots and schemes and, and, and dug a ditch for some people. So basically, um, the spirit of deception, they went into the present, trying to summon the spirit to uh, conjure up things of divine things of the land in the future. And basically, the very spirit that you have working that you call, is making you show your own evil works that you're doing in the land. Basically, telling on you. And what he realized, he said, you know, the, and the a lot of folks they don't like for me to watch certain things on TV, and he said, "Don't you know that that is a like a, a teleportation or gateway?" And I'm like, "Wow!" Because I, I I don't have any cable in here. I haven't had any cable, and it's nothing that uh, it was basically like it was basically stripped away from me. One of the things of this world, because um, a lot of people are missing it. You're in the presence of the enemy to learn of the enemy. And guys, some people are going to come out and some won't come out. Uh, and some is going to fall away even further away from the truth and having faith to believe in God. Um, and that's one of the ways of, the, of, of an angel of light um, in this world and leading, leading God's people astray. But they're all ones that are sitting by and they're watching. Um, wow. That's, I'm hearing in my spirit. That's why uh, one of the reasons he's saying for you, for you highly to stay in place to be a light and darkness of the world because it is so uh, it is evil darkness, death angels plaguing this land right now uh, sickness and disease plaguing this land right now in the name of Jesus and he he's had some people in position just for to be a light of faith in this, in this season and time that we're going through right now um, because some people are in, in the battle you had to go through the war. You had to go through the battle. You had to get on the battlefield to, um, cause you, it's the saying goes to say, you back me up, back me up against the wall. I'm, co I'm coming up out of it, and it's showing who we are 
in Christ in the body because uh, we all we all belong to God uh, oh wow and another thing he, he revealed to me um, after I had did earlier I got through doing my morning enlightenment he said um, he said I, I'm Lord of Lord and King of Kings uh, the Alpha and Omega the beginning and the end and he had a while back taught me he said you know uh, when you are over the nation people have a right to believe in what they want to believe in but at the end of the day God is every tongue and every knee shall bow and confess him as Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and uh, he said there's people in the land you know there's mantra and uh, there's Buddhism there's uh, Muslim and uh, he said all those all of those uh, spirits are, are warring the evil and the good because they got evil spirits and they got good spirits they're warring in the spirit and he said and that that's and that's some of the opposition that you're facing that's some of the opposition that you're seeing and I'm not saying because some of them some people use certain things and they have uh, they mean good towards it uh, because people they wanted uh, just like when Moses went up to the mountain to talk to Jesus and get the Ten Commandments and assignment and um, and he stayed gone too long the people build a cab because they wanted some they wanted somebody that they could see and that's what the people in the land have done that's what idolatry worship comes in at uh, because of a particular thing the enemy is mad I told you he told God uh, I when I be fussing I've been fussing with some uh, evil spirits because uh, death has been brought to us threats of death and that's that and God revealed to me he said that's Satan telling me telling God yelling I'm going to kill your daughter and God is telling whenever I sit up there and I'm I'm protect, protecting my kids that is the spirit of the living Lord telling the enemy I wish you would you put her in the dirt and so what Satan is doing he is going around and because uh, he know he cannot touch some of God's anointing and he's touching and he's killing some people in the land that is close to, to some people and it's it, and some people is going they actually going to get what they they actually going to get it that this is just uh showing you showing you what is going to happen and um some things has been happening in my land and in my region some people is just uh some close people that i grew up with and once new is just dropping dead and it's because it's some people corrupt religious leaders and some corrupt corruption in this land that has their hands on God's anointing. God said, I said, I told you, you touch not my anointing and do my prophet no harm. And that's what the enemy is doing. That's 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 exactly what Satan is doing. Um, he know he can't touch some of um, God's anointing. And I'm like, wow. Whenever I, I that dropped in my spirit, I was riding down the road, and I know sometimes people be like, no, nah, I'm not losing it. It be actually live. Um, spirits and things in my in my presence um, and um, I'll be calling them out and I'll be talking to them so and that's that's exactly what we are and there's a foul spirit in my presence right now um, of leadership they still won't fall away and death should be their bed um, I keep hearing Ananias uh, they're gonna drop dead uh, some plagues with some sickness and stuff and so that's the reason why threats of death is so high right now um death is so high right now because there's de there's there are death angels sweeping this nation sweeping this land uh, but and i keep hearing they want to strike they because they want to take away your power and one of the ways to break you down is to break you down psychologically first and then they put fear in you and if they can break you down psychologically and, and make you afraid uh but you gotta just know gotta know who you are I know that I've spoken of command and they have to listen, they have to heed to the word. So I know no sickness nor disease shall come nigh me and my kids dwelling. Death is in the grave. Because God already took it in the grave. It's just a shadow of death that we walk through. But some of them get actually get caught up in it and they actually uh, don't make it. And that's what what's going on. He said, uh, yeah, uh, I make your friends, keep your friends close, but your enemies close because uh, Satan is teaching me some people is just that blind that they just miss they missing their uh, thank you Holy Ghost they're missing their uh, enlightenment on what they're going to need to sustain in the long run that's even the long run is not even promised to them because they got blood on their hands 
um, and they have not, they don't have a desire, they only doing it for selfish uh, purpose and um, selfish for selfish elevation. But I had to come on and, and get that, that small bit of enlightenment. Um, but yeah, some people have been threatened with death and that's, that's safe. And I realized one of my kids, because uh, at a very early age, me personally, I had been wrestling um, with death before I actually um, came to comply with death. And I know the purpose of me um, actually having to transcend up to the other side and God sent me back. Um, but I know that they're, they're fine. They're covered by the blood. And um, I'm not worried about them. I, I know I can, I can lay down at night and sleep and not not flinching at one time just lay down and sleep so in like a trance because I know El Shaddai is uh, in control and I know that uh, uh, he has a plan and until we get oh it's fear in the name of Jesus in my presence it's fear in my presence and I send it back to the people of hell for which it come from uh, until the house of Shady Grove repent I don't care what you do it's over. Mm, yeah, it's over. Take your hands off. You got your hands on some people's lives that you should not have your hands on some people's lives. Um, satanic worship. Ooh, I smell smoke. I smell a fire. Something's on fire. Wow, wow. Well, I got to go get my snack. It's getting late off in the evening. I've been sitting in front of this computer all day. So you guys have a life supreme day. And no. Um, and you know what? I just got to ramble. Because I'm rambling. That scripture is so true. But um, God's hand is so over my life right now. I have to stay separated. Because. Uh, I've already, he already showed me my path. It said it's either or. Um, and I was, oh yeah, the scriptures I was reading earlier. I'm going to tell you how the enemy's, the enemy's been busy. And see, I, that's why I always take the word home. And I be missing it. But now my eyes is beginning to open up a little bit more. Uh, oh God, I don't have my Bible. But it was in Revelations when God said that, that the enemy was getting ready to... Uh, test some people they're going to be thrown into prison and, and, and it was going to get worse before it got better so early I was sitting here and I was doing around haven't did nothing still haven't did my handbags which I'm going to do them in just a minute uh, and as I got up I do have work but I don't know for some odd reason God is telling me not to um, go to nobody else place of an employment because it's a, a trap or scheme of the enemy to steal um, what it is that God has for me and then it, to try and test on my face and said continue to build um, and I was almost tempted to go to a place that I know I don't have no business going because I'm not sitting here like I'm, I'm holier than thou Miss Molly um, I know I'm no longer sitting under the house and actually doing a ministry and training I'm just out in the world um, a life for God you know I do go out and uh, participate in certain activities because uh, God prompted it on my spirit to do that. But, uh, and as I was wrestling back and forth in my mind about whether I should go, because I had already made plans to sit here for the evening and, and you know, just doodle around and just do some things around the spot and try to uh, market some things. And, um, uh, wrestling in my spirit and I almost got up and I almost went to the place and, but God said, uh, he dropped it in my spirit after I don't sit there and wrestle with it. And I came in here and it just hit me in my spirit. I said, no, I'm wrestling with it too much. So it's too much confusion. So um, I'm going to do what I've learned to do what my first thought is. Because your first thought is the best thought. And that's the, that's the one you should go with. Because when you go to wrestling with it, it's confusing. And that's the enemy trying to come in and, and steal away. And point you in the direction that he wants you to go in. And so... Um, I um, sat down and finished, uh, began to do some other things, and my son called me because we were making uh, some plans for a gathering to come along. And um, 
And it came to me. And he said, God dropped in my spirit. He said, yeah, you did the right thing. I, I, I became such a such, such, what of an ease. But um, the enemy was mad because he, he knew he almost had me. And see, that's the thing what God was telling me earlier. He's like, don't go. You can go. And you're going to go into certain things. But uh, the enemy was trying to trick me back into some old ways disguised in his way. In, in other words, he had pulled me out of the circle of corrupt religious leaders the church. But the church, some corrupt evil, had plotted and schemed a certain path for me to go down. And I almost went because I, it's a certain thing that I've been wanting to do and I have not been able to do it. And, um, and it was an opportunity and I got the thing when I was looking at it, I said, no, it's too, it's too easy. If, it's, if it comes that easily, you better back away from it. Because anything, nothing in life free and ain't nothing in life easy. And nine times out of ten, if it's something that's going to cause you uh, some trials and error. And so I was sitting here and, um, and I was like, whew, okay, I bypassed that one. And, um, and then I heard a, a, a thing on the radio um, talking about how a shooting had taken place. And I was like, wow, now. And it did, God revealed to me, he said, now I had you to went out and, and did some things. They have plotted an, an altercation to take place to where your life was going to be in danger. And that's what I meant to you when I said it's going to get worse before it got better. Because had you went on and went into that environment, it was going to take you, it was going to throw you all the way off. And I was going to have to uh, prearrange a whole nother thing for you to come out a whole nother way. And um, and I just thought about my, you know, the little gathering we've had. They see the enemy's been plotting. See, he's, the enemy is very well organized. And his, his people, is, that's why God has called some soldiers for. Him. And I'm not worried. I'm not scared. Um, and a while back, a long time ago, this is years ago, oh, wow, probably about six years or seven years ago, um, God began to awaken me about warnings and signs and uh, being able to know and see the enemy for him because uh, he said I'm putting you over the gates and gate or gateway of the tower a watcher um, to watch and see him for no warnings and signs um, so I, when I sleep a lot uh, some days I have like a translucent like I be sleep but I be up my spirit be traveling and um, I had this one dream I was going through a, I was almost like I was going through a maze in life throughout the world I was going like oh my god I was going around in circles I was going over railroads and I was just going I was going over and there was a lot of stuff going on inside my house and um I was like wow Lee what's really going on I didn't quite understand it then and I got to where I was journaling things that I was seeing uh, interpretations of dreams and I'm like wow Something is not right because when I woke up, my spirit was like really, really very disturbed just to see that because I was going everywhere. I was going every oh, anyway, in the name of Jesus, I'm going to meet you. We're going to meet one another. It's a soul and a spirit that um, we have intertwined. Uh, but I, we got to go through a lot because it's a lot of stuff that is in the way. And God said he's revealing every last bit of because they're trying to ease their way in. And how we, he allowed it before you, him, see everything. It would have been uh, very detrimental to uh, our unity together um, in God. But yeah, that dream was so crazy. I was just going everywhere. I was going on railroads. I was going, then I was come back and I would go up this road. And I mean, I was going in like circles and blocks. And it was very eerie in my spirit. And um, just a lot of stuff was going on. I was like a whole big old maze in this life. And um, God said, see, that's this is what has been going on. And I, and you Everything is beginning to smooth itself out because in my life, ever since then, I've been going here and I've been going there and I've been at this job and at that job and I've been I go I leave town and then I come back and then something's like leave town and I come back and God had beginning to wake me up. He said, "Now you remember the dream that I had given you." It's just a lot of things. It's a lot of stuff in your way, and it's a lot of stuff in His way, and, and it's and it's being smoothed out, and it's being cleared out, and the road is still kind of rocky, and that's what He means that I'll make a quicker path straight, and that's that's the journey that not only I have been on, but some people in my life have been on, but yet still they're still missing God because they're they're caught up in their um in the natural ways and in the worlds of this in the in the ways of this world, and I had to wake I had to wake you up. I had to open your eyes up spiritually. 
and now that he and he's being awakened, the people around him is being awakened, and you got evil. He's even because this is even going up higher. Levels going up even higher. Oh, but that's I was like, wow. Yes, the spirit of deception that is warm right now. It's called forth, and, and he's he's teaching some people. People is going dying in the process of being taught. Some people is being hurt in the process of being taught. Fear is striking the land, and some people is they being taught. But it's uh, in due season. Some people is going to overcome all that, and some will step up, and some will step up, step down, and some will just fall all the way off. But uh, that's what we are. You guys have a life to bring day and be safe in this uh, season of uh, enlightenment and then. And engaging with the enemy and being able to see the enemy and know the enemy. Because he does not. Don't give him your power. Do not give him your power. Do not give him your power. Uh, and that's what has happened. And some people are, uh, I heard earlier in my spirit, um, because the enemy sees this is the gateway to the other side for a higher position in leadership, a, a ministry. God said, this is this is my ministry, uh, to minister, to see how I will hold it. Uh, hold when they see like there's it's nothing it's not going anywhere it's not doing anything uh, it's just trying and testing on me to see how uh, if I trust God trust my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and I heard in my spirit it's like oh won't you the enemy say won't you give give somebody something to ministry and God said no this is my gateway I'm no you, I'm not giving away nothing until the should die uh, prompt in my spirit to do what He wants me to do. Uh, because when I was in some people's presence, then God had me to prophesy that this this right here was coming forth. Uh, no, it went through one end right out the other. But now that some people in the land they begin to see that the prophecy is coming forth, uh, now I'm all, now they want to. No, God says no, no. Keep straight, keep going. I'm exhausted. Whew. You guys have a life to grant day. Uh, and keep going because he's making a crooked path straight. Everything that is hidden. And the very ones, everything that is hidden is, is being uh, revealed. And the very ones that is orchestrating is the one that you basically, you're telling on yourself. Your spirit is very loud and you talk too much. Uh, and, and you can't help it because uh, uh, that's what God says. I'll make even your enemy at peace with you. I'll make your enemy fight your battle. And that's exactly what is going on. And we fight. I'm, he already know I'm for El Shaddai. But he has to do what the Spirit of the Lord tell him to do. Just like I have to do what the Spirit of the Lord tell me to do. In the name of Jesus. You guys have a life to bring. Daniel.